sorry. I couldn't wait until April. What is this gorgeous girl so angsty about? Who even is she? You didn't forget about me, did you? I'm your fiancé! A high schooler's my fiancé? I'm almost 30! My name is Teruya Nagamatsu. I'm almost 30 and I work at a small publication company. When I was in college, I taught students as a part-time job and had a time where I taught in school as well. The connections led me to working at this company, and I live a pretty boring life. And that's it for today's morning goals. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, we're getting rid of obligatory chocolates. No one said anything against it. It's probably annoying having to hand out chocolate to all the male employees, and White Day's even more annoying. But if I don't get any obligatory chocolates from work, I won't get any chocolates this year. The not-so-charming guy that I am never received any chocolates during Valentine's. I received chocolates from my mother out of pity, but even her vanilla chocolate tasted bitter. Wait, I received chocolate from a beautiful girl once. That happened when I was a teacher when I was in college. I think it was 10 years ago. The girl, Mia, was about 8 years old. Teacher, I made this for you. Please take it. A Valentine's Day chocolate? Thank you. This is a non-obligatory chocolate. I gave it because I like you. Wow, what an honor. I'm surprised she knows about Valentine's. She's so young. When I was eight, I was laughing at poop jokes. You're not taking it seriously! I want to marry you! <laughs> Thank you. Okay, if you turn 18 and you still like me, let's get married. Okay, it's a promise. If my memory is right, Mia is a senior in high school. I'm sure she looks great now. I, on the other hand, have just begun my acceleration towards being insignificant. Then, one Valentine's Day, I was heading home after work. Hmm? Who's that? Someone's daughter? Wow, she's gorgeous! Wait, have I seen her before? Huh? Is she coming towards me? Teacher, I wanted to see you so bad! I didn't know where you lived, so I just waited! Uh, I'm sorry. There are too many people around here. We shouldn't get too close. She's hugging me?! I become legal after April, but I couldn't wait, so I came to see you. <laughs> what is this beautiful girl even talking about? Who even is she? Did you forget about me? I'm your fiancé. I'm sure she's mistaking me for someone else. There are plenty of people who look like me. <sighs> of course you forget about me. It's been over ten years since you taught me. Ten years? Taught? Wait, Mia?! Correct! I'm Mia Kaneshiro. Apparently she got the green light from her parents, so we decided to grab dinner. You've really grown! I'm surprised. <laughs> Have I grown up to be your type? Wow, she's super straightforward. She definitely did grow into my type, but that's probably a little creepy for me to tell her the truth. I think you're incredibly attractive. I'm sure you're popular. I turned down everyone who asked me out. I want to give you my first everything. She keeps saying fiancé, but... Mia wants to marry you! Then let's get married if you still like me when you're an adult. April of 2022. That's when the legal age becomes 18. Mia should already be 18, so... It's February, so in two months, you'll be legal? Yeah! I'm ready to give you anything and everything! Hit me with your best shot! I'm not ready to give my everything yet! You're not planning on breaking the pinky promise, are you? Hold on, don't put your fork at me! Things kept going while I kept getting confused. Before I knew it, I was in front of Mia's parents. For some reason, my parents were there too! We have to thank the heavens for that. She's already accepted to vocational school, so I guess she'll be a student and a wife. <laughs> we don't mind if she's a student or a wife. Everyone except me seemed to be having a great time about everything. While I stood around doing nothing, everyone started getting excited if it was going to be a Japanese-style or Western-style wedding. Uh, excuse me. Is something bothering you, teacher? I can tell you really do want to marry me, but I'm worried that you might regret it. Do you not want to marry me? I didn't say that. I feel like you'd be wasting time with me. 
But I know that this is a decision that affects both of our lives, so why don't we get to know each other better first? I see. So what you're saying is, you want to live together! What? Mom! I gotta get ready to move! <laughs> we are going to be busy. How did you get living together from that? Before I could get a word in edgewise, I began living with Mia. Uh, I'm home. Welcome home. I am not getting used to this. I honestly feel like I jumped into a manga novel when I'm with her. I can't believe I'm supposed to marry her! Even though we lived together, we had separate bedrooms, and there were no first-time events. That's probably why it feels more like I'm living with a relative. Does she actually like me? Wait, does that mean I'm secretly hoping that would happen? Is something wrong? Oh, I, I, I was just stretching my neck. I, uh, I'm gonna go take a shower real quick. <laughs> okay, I'll get your PJs ready. You really don't have to be so dedicated. This girl is just happy to be experiencing first love. Should I really keep this up? <sighs> I couldn't say let's shower together. He's always going to treat me like a kid. All right, today's the day. That was delicious. Thank you for cooking again. Great. I'll have more food ready for you tomorrow, Teruya. <coughs> Did she just call me by my first name? I'm almost legal, remember? I should call you by your first name so we're more like a married couple. Did you get butterflies? Uh, maybe I did a little bit. You're really growing up. You're completely different from the kid I knew a long time ago. I want to be an adult that's good enough for you. What's going on suddenly? I'm not just a kid anymore. I wanted to become your wife from the bottom of my heart, especially after I started living with you. I wanted to... do things. Things? But you don't see me like that, right? <laughs> I'm not stupid. I'm sorry, did I make you feel bad? Well, it's like living with your crush that doesn't like you back, so... Is it okay if I get close to you? Just for a little? I won't do anything. I'm pretty sure that's what the guy normally says. My god, she's adorable. Can I hold you tightly? Huh? It's hard to be honest when you get this old. I mean, what I'm trying to say is... Maybe it's not as much as you like me. But I definitely do like you. Really? You look upset. Are you sure you're not lying? I'm just tired of lying to myself, is all. I'll be waiting for you to become legal. Yeah, I wish I could just time travel. Ten years later, I'm receiving plenty of chocolates on Valentine's Day from my lovely wife and beautiful daughters. <laughs>